What is up guys, welcome back to a new Call of Duty World War 2 video. Today I am bringing you 10 mistakes noobs make in a prop hunt in a Call of Duty World War 2. Now, don't take this video too serious, it's not a big deal, it's just mistakes, uh, you know, new players do. And it's understandable because prop hunt is a new game mode for a lot of people. A lot of players didn't like Infinite Warfare, Infinite Warfare was being sold together with Modern Warfare Mastered, so not everyone in the Call of Duty community played Modern Warfare Mastered, which is the only Call of Duty game that has uh, prop hunt, well now there's also Call of Duty World War 2, but it's not a big deal if you make a lot of the mistakes on this list I'm gonna be talking about in just a second. So do you play prop hunt like a noob? Find out next! Warning, the following video is so manly that it can make a woman grow a beard, so if you are a little Justin Beaver, proceed with caution. So the first mistake on this list I want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is revealing your position on the final kill cam. If you are the last prop alive, or even if there are a few other props still left, always look up or move out of your position uh, 10 seconds before the game is over, before the round is over, because if you don't do that, your position might be revealed on a final kill cam, the enemy team is gonna know where you were hiding, and if you wanna hide there again on, on the next round, most likely that's where they will look for you first. I prefer to look up in the air because they see absolutely nothing but clouds and uh, most likely they get very, very confused. The second mistake on the list I want to talk about is hiding behind the enemy players when the game starts. Some people like getting cheeky, some people like you know trolling the enemy whatever so they go all the way from their spawn to the enemy spawn and they hide behind the enemy players most of the time it might work because when people spawn they just run forward but there's always one guy that is going to uh, turn around and start looking for you right there at their spawn so yeah this kind of like goes both ways a lot of people never check their spawn and some people like hiding behind the enemy spawn both big mistakes in my opinion. The third mistake on this list is hiding in obvious spots. So if you are in a very bad position, you don't want to stay there um, more than one, maybe two whistles. You gotta keep moving if you don't have like a good spot. If you are going to try to hide the whole time in a room, like on the ground, in corners, most likely that is going to be a very bad idea. Make sure that if you don't have a super secret spot, if you don't have a good prop to hide, Keep moving, use the camera to peek around corners. If the enemy is uh, running towards you, just fly like the wind. Sometimes moving around is better than staying still in a corner or in a room or something like that. The next mistake on this list, ladies and gentlemen, is hiding together with other props, with your friends. I mean, if you just want to, you know, have a good time, laugh with your friends, whatever, go ahead. But if you really want to win, you should never stay together with with your uh, friendly props, nor you should ever hide inside one of your props. This is like, this is asking to get killed. Now, the biggest reason why you should never be in the same area as, like, next to your uh, friendly props is because if you are the two last props standing, the whistles are going to be on the same area. Therefore, all the enemy team is gonna be on that area. They're gonna be shooting everywhere and most likely one of the bullets is gonna hit you and yeah, it, you're gonna die. But if one of you is on one area and if the other one is a little bit more far away, the enemy team is gonna be spread out because both whistles are far away from each other and that way you have a much better chance of, you know, both of you surviving or at least one of you surviving because the enemies are not all together so less bullets will be flying in your direction and then we have ladies and gentlemen mistake number five not spinning and jumping while you are being chased when you are spotted by the enemy you gotta make sure you do everything you can to avoid those bullets because props don't really have a lot of health so in my experience i really feel that if you're like a medium prop 
um, it really helps spinning around and jumping while you are being chased because you are going to be avoiding a lot of bullets if you are a small prop oh this works like a freaking charm the guy chasing you most of the time is not going to kill you but yeah you might run into another enemy and then he's gonna shoot you but yeah uh, most of the time I am able to survive by jumping and also spinning all over the place and then we have ladies and gentlemen mistake number six wasting your decoys before you are spotted for some reason some people just like using their decoys here and there you should never do that always keep your decoys unless you are using a prop that you are not gonna be using unless you are like you know what i'm gonna change to a different prop because this one is too big let's say you're playing gustav cannon and you got optimus prime you got the truck obviously you don't want to be a truck you're gonna die super quick so in that case because you are gonna change to a different prop yes you can leave a few optimus primes here and there you're gonna get a few points if the enemy finds you so it's not a big deal but if you want to keep the next prop you should always keep your decoy so that when the enemy spots you when you are running for your life you can leave a few decoys around the corners and that might slow down the enemy enough so that you can you know uh, find new cover and you might survive that way so yeah i feel that decoys are very important and you should never waste them before the enemy spots you the next mistake on this list is not helping friendly props when they are in danger now what i'm talking about is sometimes you are in a very good position most likely the enemy is not gonna find you you have like two props alive maybe three I don't know and one of your props passes by you one of your friendly props passes by you and he's being chased like by three enemies now most likely that guy is gonna die if you don't do something so what I like doing is if he passes by me I wait for the enemies to also pass by me and then I flash the shit out of the enemy and that way that might buy enough time so that my friendly prop can find new cover and survive for a little bit longer you want to make sure that you have as many props alive as you can because that way uh, you have a much better chance of winning that round or of winning the game and then we have ladies and gentlemen mistake number eight hiding as the same object as one of your nearby decoys for some reason some people have like very good props like the tank shell or uh, i don't know you know something small and they like leaving decoys here and there to confuse the enemy now you're not really confusing the enemy what you are doing is if you are putting decoys here and there you are letting the enemy know what you are using as a prop so it, this happens to me all the time if i find like a tank shell i'm like yo this guy is most likely hiding as a tank shell because this is a very small prop it is very good but unfortunately the dumbass left a few decoys here and there and now i know that he's using this prop so i'm gonna look in the area for a tank shell and most of the time i am able to find the uh, prop unless he's like moving around unless he's behind me the whole time and i don't see him then we have ladies and gentlemen mistake number nine this is a mistake people make while looking for props which is getting too close to props when you find them if i'm like yo that is a player right there disguised as a prop so instead of like going there and shooting the prop what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna move just a little bit back and then I'm gonna start shooting the motherfucker. The closer you get to the props, the more chances you get of being flashed like a motherfucker. You won't be able to see shit and most likely the prop is gonna be able to escape you and that happens a lot of times. Sometimes it happens by, you know, by mistake. The guy just panics. You don't even see the guy. He flashes you and runs. But if you're like, you know what? I think that's a prop. I think that's a player right there don't get too close start shooting a motherfucker if he shoots you you're gonna get a little bit flashed but you're still gonna see where he's going and then you have a much better chance of killing that cheeky prop and then ladies and gentlemen the last mistake on this list is staying together with your friends and shooting all over the place so this is what i do and this is what works for me while everyone else is shooting all over the place they are appearing on the minimap all over the place what i do is i just shoot if i think that i find a prop so 
That way, I'm never on the radar, and because I'm not super close to my teammates, if they find a prop, there's gonna be a huge chance the prop is gonna be running towards me because I am not making any noise and I'm not on the minimap. When I am running for my life as a prop, I always look at the minimap to see if I'm going towards uh, red dots, aka enemy players, and uh, many times that saves my life because everyone's shooting all over the place and I know that, you know what, I cannot go there, I have to go this way, there are no red dots this way so yeah maybe I'll be fine that's something people do uh, they just like spraying all over the place and I feel that as a prop that's gonna help me because I know where not to go so that's why I like being silent I only shoot my gun whenever I have to and uh, most of the time it works like a charm so there you go ladies and gentlemen just for fun let me know in the comment section below how many of these mistakes you make um, I used to make all of these mistakes but now I don't really make them that often obviously I made the list so <laughs> it would make no sense if I was still making these mistakes but yeah I used to make these all the time thank you for watching let me know your opinion in the comment section below I'll see you next time peace